What is your opinion between limes versus bird scooters? Which one do you prefer? I'm all about the bird. Well, you this is our first time ever renting these, but the limes seem to be faster. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dante here, and right now I'm in the beautiful Keener Plaza. It is a lovely day. It does not feel like winter, and obviously Midwest weather is a little bit messed up. But today, on beautiful days like today, there are a lot of people out exploring. There are a lot of people doing crazy, ridiculous things. And one of them is riding around on these electric scooters that are relatively new to the St. Louis area. And today I'm going to talk about both of them. There's the lime scooter and the bird scooter. Which one's really better for exploring our city? Let's find out. Yeah. Ooh, over here we have a lime bike. You see it just in its natural habitat? Obviously we have to wait for the, the light to turn green. Or but we'll die. Or we will die. We will die. It's confirmed. Confirmed. I guess since there's just a lime bike kind of just chilling across the street here, that's what we're going to go ahead and start with. What is your opinion between limes versus bird scooters? Which one do you prefer? I'm all about the bird. Well, you got this the is bird. our first time ever renting these, but the limes seem to be faster, so. I do think what? the lime is faster. Yeah. <laughs> so the limes are faster. Any advantages so that the birds great. have? Show the speed. <laughs> so they, they, give, they give you a yeah. speedometer. Yeah, that's well, That's nice. It's shorter. The lime is taller, so if you're, I guess the height is the, the, the factor as well. These do have a bell. So this one has a bell, this one does not. If so it looks like it did have a bell, but <laughs> it may have crashed. <laughs> So what do you guys think about St. Louis so far? Since you're from, where did you say you're from? Texas, Dallas. Texas? Dallas. What do you guys think so far? Go. We love it. We like the city museum a lot. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah the city museum is the best part. Yeah. Yeah. We found this bike, but it's not showing up in the app, so it's just dead. And when I tried scanning the QR code, it just would, it wouldn't do anything, and the app just kind of froze up. So I guess that's kind of a disadvantage. I don't know. That's kind of inconvenient because we found a lime, but it's just dead. So, sugar fire. I just wanna, I just got something to say while we're standing here. It smells so dang good. I'm telling you, it smells so good. It's, ooh. Oh. Dude. That's fine. Okay. Unlocking. And it's as easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. Are you taking my, are you taking my scooter? No, I would never do that. Why would I do that? Here, I was just getting it warm for you. Oh, oh, so you're just getting it warm, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. The thing about the Lime is it's very easy to go ahead and start your ride through the app. Um, all you have to do is just kind of enter in some basic information like your payment info, and then you scan this little QR code that's right here on the bike itself. And then also, you can see the speed you're going and a battery meter, so that's really useful. And there's a wimpy bell <laughs> on this scooter. It doesn't work. It doesn't sounds like sadness. The basic thing is the Lime Scooter costs a dollar to start and then it's 15 cents a minute afterwards. And these things have about a 20 mile range on them. The Lime Scooter, it's, it's got a pretty good height to it. Um, it feels pretty solid. The structure feels very nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just take a nice little, little stroll right here and kind of show you how to start off. So first you just kick off and then this little pedal right here allows you to move. Handling is pretty nice. The ride quality is very nice. It feels very comfortable to do so. Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna fall off if I go ahead and do sharp turns. It's got a pretty good get up and go, too. It gets up to like seven miles an hour pretty fast. I what? believe they top off at 15. And uh, just in case, like, I don't know, there's a power outage or something, there's also a little light on the front. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's really useful here because this is a very well lit city, but uh, hey. And 15.6. So, I'd say the top speed's pretty accurate. It does have a nice get up and go. And honestly, I didn't feel like I was gonna fall off or anything. It was just a very smooth, solid ride. I mean, I'd compare it to like, maybe like an entry level sports car of scooters. It's got pretty good handling. It's very nice. I mean, the ride quality is, is just very smooth. It has a nice get up and go. Like enough that you'll, you don't have to worry about like, oh, am I actually gonna, I'm actually gonna go anywhere. Do I have to pedal every time? So, Lime Scooters, very nice. All right, what's up? My name is Alex Schwartz. You guys might have seen me before. I also have a channel, and I'm with Dante today, checking out these scooters, and I've driven them once before, and I don't remember which one it was. I'm giving my second set of eyes on this, just so, you know, we don't have any biasness going on. Right, Dante? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, so yeah, this is gonna be my first impressions of this, basically, so let's see how we do. 
So, I would say the handling is pretty good. It's very fast. I actually hit over 17. Yeah, you said you only hit like 15.6. I I'm hit like 17.3. And that was going uphill too. Are you serious? Yeah, like that was up and down. That was both ways. It hit the same speed, which was kind of surprising. Um, but yeah, the uh, the bells broke, so I'm guessing that they don't have very durable bells. And obviously, these are going to take a beating because they're out, you know, in city streets all the time. This brake isn't the best, not going to lie. It's uh, pretty loose, and I don't trust it very much. And it's very, very quick, you know. Like, you, you hit it a little bit, and it was kind of like stopping real quick. So that's not, not real comfortable. But... Yeah, so that's, uh, I'd say, my input. I'd say it was pretty stable. Let's do a little bit of further testing because not every surface here in St. Louis is going to be as smooth as this road right here. So why don't we go ahead and push this thing to the limit? So now we've actually found ourselves a rough surface over here. You see it? This is uh, not exactly the smoothest terrain that is in St. Louis. So what we're going to do is now is we're going to go ahead and test out the Lime Scooter's ride quality on a not-so-favorable road. There's your preview. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test this on this road right here. And uh, we'll see how the lime holds up. We'll see if it's, you know, as nice as it seemed over there on that road. So I'll go ahead and kick off. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Woo! All right, so I guess my impressions of, uh, of the lime on rougher surfaces is uh, not exactly the best. Um, I don't know if you could hear it, but the, the scooter was kind of rattling a lot. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, I, I, I didn't even feel comfortable really like pushing the motor too far because I didn't want to just like whip myself out of control and then lose control of the scooter and fall. So pretty small wheels. I would have to say, yeah. I mean, maybe if it had some bigger wheels, it might be able to handle this a little bit better. Or maybe if the suspension was a little more fine tuned, but uh, rougher surfaces, it's not gonna be that. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and lock the Lime bike up. And you have two options whenever you're done with your Lime bike. You can lock it and hold it. So like if you wanna go inside and grab a coffee or something, you can reserve it so that it's still your bike. But you keep, like the rate still continues and you still have to pay for it. So it has, you know, it's a double-edged sword. You know, you can, you can hold it, but obviously at a cost. Or it was hard to find one, so I could see why yeah. you want to save it. I could see, especially like during the nicer months. We're gonna go ahead and end the ride. Once you end your ride, all you have to do is take a picture of where you leave your scooter. Really? Yeah, you take a picture just to make sure it's also not in like a, a fine zone, which those do exist, like in Keener Plaza and on the Gateway Arch grounds. You can get fined for leaving it there. So, but then once you do that. You can rate your ride. I'm gonna give it a four out of five, and that's it. So good job, Lime. It was fun. That entire ride for about a half hour is about five bucks. So now the quest continues, and it says that there are a couple birds just right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and find these birds. How has your day been exploring St. Louis on these scooters? Really good. <laughs> it's been good. So I noticed that you have a bird scooter, Correct. and right here is a Lime scooter. Which one is better? This is my first time using a bird scooter and it doesn't work. So I've used limes lots of times and it works every time. So I would have to recommend lime over bird. You just have to pedal now? Yeah, I'm just pedaling. I'm paying to pedal. Because the wheel, wheels lock if you don't pay. So I'm just paying to pedal. You know? I, I'm like speechless. Yep. That's really frustrating. Well, how's the lime been so far? <laughs> It works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I'm not Way better than the word. <laughs> yeah, you're not. A little bit faster. What was that? Um, my bell is not. My bell is not. It works. Listen. <laughs> oh, it sounds like sadness. That just sucks. I mean, I can't imagine the frustration of like spending a dollar on a bike and I'm just going to call them bikes from here on out. <laughs> I can't imagine spending a dollar on this scooter just to start it and then it not working. And then you have to hashtag pay to pedal. And the thing is, the thing is too, is it's not like a Razor scooter, like that's a heavy scooter. Yeah. So if, if you pay and then it doesn't work, but you still want to get around and your friend has one, then you're going to be like, okay, well I'm going to pedal. But then for one, you're hashtag paying to pedal. And then also it's super heavy probably. So, I mean, I haven't just pedaled on it myself, but I imagine it's pretty heavy. So far the bird, <laughs> Not the best impression, I'm telling you. And we haven't even found one yet. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We have found ourselves a bird. But before we begin, let's do a bell test. Hey! <gasps> all right, all right, review over, bird wins. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode. Before the birds, you have to fire up the app. But there's one difference between this and the Lime Bike, is that these, you have to scan your driver's license. And I, I watched a couple other YouTubers about their reviews and experiences with birds, and I've noticed that some of them have had problems scanning their driver's license. And I actually had a friend that was in town, and he had problems scanning his driver's license. I personally didn't have an issue, it just did it on the first try. But that is something worth noting, is that sometimes it is more difficult, and that's not something you have to go through with the Lime Bike. What you do is you just fire it up, QR code scanner comes up, same thing as the Lime, and there you go. It shows you the battery, it shows you the distance and the time that you've been. Unlock it, so it's unlocking it, you get a notification. And then, it takes a second. They have like the same exact display. They really do. All right, so there we go. So now it says I've been on here for 12, 13 seconds, even though I haven't done anything. Um, yeah, so the battery level. Oh, there's a light on this as well. The, the line bike, I'm not sure if it had the lights in the back, but that's something worth noting. And um, inside. Yeah, and it's got, so this is a very well lit scooter. I can imagine this being very safe at night because pit, put other pedestrians and vehicles that will be driving across roadways, they will see you on this thing because once it gets dark out, I mean, yes, there are you know street lights and everything and lights coming from local businesses, but this has a very nice presence. I like, I haven't even taken it anywhere and I can already tell that this is gonna be a very, like you'll, you'll notice this riding along the sidewalk. Brake seems to be very, uh, very stable. Oh, immediately I'm noticing something interesting here. What? I'm facing forward, but the wheel is not. Oh. You see that? You see that? I'm facing forward, but the wheel is not. Oh, it's actually loose. Oh, it's loose. Like, look at this. I can still move this a little bit, and the wheel doesn't move. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the structural integrity of this this scooter we should still try it um oh god yeah this is this is an in this is okay let I, me feel it let me feel it yeah you need to you need to feel this oh wow <laughs> that is bad that's scary yeah i don't it seems like the whole thing is backwards honestly yeah that Doesn't actually look looks like yeah the wheel looks like it's backwards i'm pretty sure it is I I don't know about this man. Uh, we just got scammed out of a dollar, boys. All right. <laughs> Bird is not exactly impressing me that much right now. I mean, I do really like how lit the scooter is, and I mean, like, not in like a yo, it's lit sense, but like, <laughs> it's literally a well lit vehicle. Um, it just ha it has a nice presence. I do like that, but so far. Bird is not, it's not impressing. It's not impressing in any other aspect. Should we find another one? So I say we find another one. I just got scammed out of a dollar. So let's find another one and test it. We found another bird, but guess what? Get, guess what? The bird doesn't work. This is what, the like third or fourth one? I'm just gonna chime in for a couple of minutes here. Obviously, it's a different time of day now. We got down here probably like three o'clock. It's like five something now, and we're still trying to find a bird. And, and all the birds we found are broken. And it's like, it's one thing if we find like one broken bird. That's fine, that's understandable. But it's been three. But it's, and then other people yeah. are consistently saying that the birds suck. So, yeah, I'm rather upset by this. Yeah, I'm kind of bothered. Found a bird, 33% battery. Honestly, that's enough to do some testing with it. So, let's go ahead and hop on it, and um, oh, this one has an interesting break. That's your stop? It's different? And this is your go. Okay. And this one's also like, let's, let's unlock it and see if it lights up. I guess it's a different generation. I don't know, I didn't know if there were multiple generations or not, but that's my, uh, that's my guess. We're in. Beginning impressions of the bird. I mean, I do like these grips a lot better than the line. These, I, I have a lot more, I just feel like I have better handle over the bike itself. This one appears to have, you know, its its integrity has not been compromised. Like, you know, the five others that we saw. Overall, I do kind of like the height of this one better. I feel like I can maneuver a lot easier with this one, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. The wheels appear to be just a tad bigger. Yeah, just a little bit bigger than the line. So I'm hoping that this one can handle a little bit better on those bumpy surfaces where the lime kind of fell short. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and test out the acceleration, the braking. This is a very smooth surface because we're in Kenya Plaza, so we're just gonna start there. So for the bird, it's the same procedure with the line bike. You take out the app, you scan the QR code, but like I said, there is a difference with, with the birds is that you have to scan your driver's license. So that's one difference between the two. Same controls, except this one has like a, a stop pedal or a stop like lever. We'll see how that works, I'm not sure. So um, yeah, and then you just do the same thing, kick off and you go. All right, let's see how it breaks. It, and... that's weird because it did slow down, obviously. I didn't feel a brake, so I don't know if it's like an electronic brake. I don't know what it is, but this, I pushed it, but it slowed me down, but I didn't actually feel like, you know, whenever you push the brake pedal on your car, you feel. But this, it just kind of felt very uh, artificial. So, I don't know. I mean, the braking seemed to be about the same. The, the get up and go was still very nice, but this bird, I'm guessing, is an earlier generation because it doesn't have a speedometer. So it doesn't show your battery meter either. You kind of just have to rely on the app for that. I mean, it was smooth. It's, I mean, honestly, it's about the same. Why don't you give it a go? That brake is weird. Isn't that brake really weird? Yeah, I don't know what it is. That's weird, but it definitely, oh wait. Huh. They flash whenever you turn on the brakes too. Oh, that's an interesting little touch. Like it feels like the brakes are like electronically activated and I guess they'd have to be. I mean, what is this gonna be doing? I don't think it's gonna be pulling too much. Exactly. Um, but no, so honestly, I like this one better. <laughs> I can't lie. Oh. I like that it's uh, shorter. It's a lot easier to get around with. And uh, it feels, I don't know. I mean, it feels probably the same suspension wise, um, but the brakes, I mean like on that line bike that we rode over here, those brakes are basically non-existent, which is pretty dangerous to be honest. Um, but most of the birds that we found didn't work, but this one that did actually felt really good. So. I don't know, I guess it's kind of a matchup because it seems like it was harder to find a bird, but I actually like it better because it's like shorter and just easier to handle. I don't know why the line bikes are so tall. So we didn't exactly have time to test out the bird on an extremely rough surface, but I'd imagine that it's probably similar to the line bike in all honesty because they have about the same amount of suspension and the, I mean the overall mass of the bird is just slightly less than the line bike. so. I'd imagine they'd be very similar. We took about 15 minutes or so with each bike to kind of ride them around like on a typical day. You know, just different terrain, different streets all around the city. You know, it's overall, here are my final thoughts on which one's better, the bird or the lime for somebody that wants to get around St. Louis. If I had to choose, I would honestly say the lime. But there are a couple things that the bird does have on the lime, but I'll get to that in a second. The reason that I chose the lime over the bird is these just seem to be a lot easier to find. Not to mention, they seem to have just overall better quality and they seem to be better taken care of than their counterparts. That's a bunny, that's a bunny, that's a bunny. Just kind of around. Why are you looking back? Hey, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to, hey, get back here. Hey, come, no. Gosh dang it. But overall, if I had, to, I mean, the line bike just, I like the fact that it has more get up and go to it. It feels like it just, it just feels a lot more sound and the, the structural integrity of the bike itself just feels better than the bird. The bird, I did like its handling better. I will say that. The handling on the bird was just ever so slightly better and, But the bird, the main issue I have with it, and I've said it many times throughout this video, is the fact that they just seem to fall apart so much more because all throughout St. Louis, we found how many, like five total, that were either people were unsatisfied with them or they were just straight up busted or they just didn't work. So I have to give it to Lime simply because of the fact that if I'm gonna get around St. Louis, I want something that's easier to find something that I know will be able to get me from point A to point B, or C, D, E, F, G, and I just want something that I know I can find and rely on to get me somewhere. And Bird, unfortunately, does not do that, at least here. I'm not sure how it is in other cities, but here in St. Louis, that seems to be the case. So, that's my two cents on which one's better. I would have to say the lime, but when you really boil it down, it is up to personal preference, because the Bird is a lot of fun, but it's, you're gonna have a harder time finding it. So 
that's my two cents on which one's better for exploring St. Louis. If you guys have actually used one of these two bikes, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think, what your experience has been. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. So thank you all for watching. And as always, the most important part, have yourself a blessed day.